Hi everybody, today we're going to make out of these scaffolding boards a bench with just regular tools. This is the bench we're going to make, very simple, you can do it, don't need any big machinery, just a drill, a saw and a sander. So these are the scaffolding boards, I pre-cut one to make it half a board, it's a 13 foot board, so we're going to measure it out, we're going to make a 6 foot bench. So it's going to be identical to the bench you just saw. So let's cut it out. Six foot planks. We're going to cut them. We're going to sand them. Obviously, we're going to join them together first, and then we're going to sand them. And then obviously, we're going to make the legs and everything. Just a regular sander will work. I just have this circular disc sander. Uh, very wise to use a mask. That will... Uh, do you the world of good using a mask? It'll stop you breathing all that rubbish. So anyway, let's sand it down, clean it up. I've speeded the whole thing up. The whole thing actually took an hour to make from start to finish. So that's, that's all you need to spend doing this is an hour. Uh, when it's done, you can either varnish it if you want to varnish it, stain it and varnish it. Uh, obviously this one is just going to be left raw uh, and obviously I will do something with it later. Uh, I normally is just put a clear coat varnish on them and uh, turn it and leave it natural finish. Uh, it's a really nice light colour. All these planks as you can see they are dirty, they are straight from the building site. You can get these planks anywhere online, so don't worry about being able to get one. You can easy get them. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna join it together. I usually leave a little gap down the middle, so I push a piece of wood uh, at each end to keep the gap there. And you can pull the wood out at the end, but I just break it off and leave it in because uh, I'm lazy. So why wouldn't you? Uh, the ends that are gonna clamp together. I pre-made out of the the half board, so they're not too big. So you can see uh, the size of them. And then I just angle the ends of them. So it just makes them look tidier and neater. Uh, I clamp them down with simple G clamps, one at each end. Then I put four screws in each board, so eight screws at each end. Uh, and that's plenty strong enough to hold it together. There you go, G clamps on. Screws in, and when that's done, you know it's together. The actual top of the top of the uh, bench is already ready to go. Apart from the whole thing needs sanding, smoothing, and cleaning. Uh, but we'll do that in a bit. There you go. I'm just breaking those pieces of wood off, and now you can see the gap down the middle. That's so you can use it indoor or outdoor. It always helps to have a gap in the middle if you're going to put it outdoor, to obviously to let the water drain and the, the, to dry them off quicker. Okay, so now we're, we're sanding it and smoothing it. Uh, I like to do the corners. I put a, a little bit of a curve on them, just that tidies them up. I always clean the bottom because obviously you're going to put this in your house. You want the wood to be, you know, as nice and as clean as possible. Okay, so now we're going to sand the top. I use a 40 grit sanding disc to get all the dirt and marks and uh, blemishes off. And then I'll go from a 40 grit, I'll go over the whole thing again and do a 120 grit. And that really takes off all the, the roughness and the marks that have been left by the 40 grit. And that really gives it a nice finish. And then on top of that, you can, again, just varnish it. Or if you're putting it outside, oil. And Danish oil is the best to use if you're going to put it outside. So now we're getting it all sanded down. Smoothed out, cleaned up. As you can see, a bench top is taking shape. Obviously, you can do this any size. Obviously, I used a 13 foot scaffolding board, which is one of the longest you can use. But what you can use, you can use shorter ones. But out of that, you see, I can get two six foot planks. So I can get a six foot bench out of one scaffolding board. 
Okay, here you go. Now we're going to start cleaning up uh, the bit that's going to be the legs. Uh, like I say, this is the half board I pre-cut earlier. Again, you can just do it with a handsaw. You can pre-cut it. Just mark it out with a pencil. Uh, then, you know, draw a line and follow the line. Sanding the edges, because obviously you're going to see the edges. These are going to be the uh, the outside edges of the legs. And now we're, we're smoothing it off. It's a bit of a dusty job, as you can see, but well worth it. You know, out of these simple scaffolding boards, you're going to have a bench that, you know, will last for a very, very long time. And you can say you made it, which you did. Not this one. I made this one, not you. I'm just showing anybody can do it. So we're sanding it up, cleaning it up. That's the nice smooth one going on there. That's the 120 grit. Okay. Giving it another go over with the 120. So now what we're going to do, I made this earlier. This is the exact shape and size. It's the height and the width I want the legs to be. So what I'm going to do now is take this piece of wood uh, and mark it so the legs are all exactly the same because obviously you don't want them to be different or you're going to have a wobbly bench. So they have to be identical. So we're going to cut them with the handsaw. And there you go. There's the X-shaped legs. Place them inside the box. Back to where the shape was. And that will hold them in shape so they're the same. And then just screw them together. Now, one side you're going to see screw holes and the other side you're not. So I always put the screw hole side on the underneath of the bench. So when you're looking at it from the outside, you don't see the screws. You know, a lot of people will, you know, make the holes slightly bigger, put a dowel in. It's just a lot of work. I'm just trying to show you how to make a quick, well, a quick bench from start to finish, like I said, is an hour. So we don't want, I don't want the fanciness of it. I just want the simplicity and the speed of it. So you guys can do it just as, you can do it any way you want. You can put the dowels in if you want to go to that much effort. You know, and the nice when you do do that, don't get me wrong, you don't see any screws. You don't see any screw holes. But it, it's more work. It would take a lot more than an hour. As you can see, there you go. The, the, the legs are already done. So that's two sets of legs done. Now we've got to attach them to the top. So that's going to go to one end. That's going to go to the other end. So what I do is in the, the braces that hold the two pieces of the top together, I screw in the legs to that. Now, obviously, these pieces of wood are not flat or level there's going to be a gap so i screwed a one leg in that touches the back brace screw that in and then as you can see you make a piece of wood that fills in the hole that where the the gap is and then so i will screw that piece of wood down to the top and then the other leg that's not screwed screw to the piece that goes down uh, that's screwed to the top so that then is firmly attached to the top of the bench so then it's fairly strong but not strong enough to sit on what we then have to do is attach the two legs together closer to the bottom and that gives its rigidity so what i did earlier i already cut a piece out ready to do this there it is plop that in now, what I'll do is I'll actually drill the holes that are going into this piece of wood to where the screws goes. Only because if I was to screw through that and it's not very big, it's only an inch square, 
it could easily split it and I don't want to split it so I screw the holes first right now I'm just sanding it down clean it up to make it all look uh, natural smooth it up because we want this to look as nice as we can but again want to make it as easy and quick as we can so there you go drilling the holes both ends drill 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 and now we're just going to screw it to the bottom there you go one in screw one end two uh, two screws one end two screws the other end and there is a finished bench there you go as easy as that now doing all this we make a mess so we have to clean the mess up so I use this big vacuum cleaner to clean that mess up. And there you go. It's as simple as cleaning up. As simple as that. Bench made. Job finished. Back to you to go and have a go. A drill, screwdriver and a sander. That's all you need. Thank you for watching.